I'm knee deep in product research for a new secret Etsy shop I'm starting for this channel. And spoiler alert, it's in the category we'll be discussing in today's video. We're gonna take a look at some product examples on Etsy. And then after that, I'll let you know why I think this is such a good niche or niche or category, whatever you wanna call it. And why I think it's something you might wanna consider for yourself if you're struggling with product ideas. What are we talking about? Laser cut game. The first product we're gonna take a look at today is a mini wood cornhole game, often referred to as coin hole, because instead of using bean bags, you use coins. Very creative. There are a bunch of different shops that make a variation of this product, but today we're gonna to look at one coming from Personalization Mall. And guys, Personalization Mall is a big time player on Etsy. 550,609 lifetime sales, five star review average, star seller. This makes my Etsy sales look like peanuts. Anyways, back to the listing. The item is currently on sale for $22.49. Its normal price is $24.99. As far as options, Personalization Mall allows you to select the color of the game board. So natural, red, white, or black. I'm assuming that's just the stain color. And then you're allowed to add two lines of personalization text to be engraved on the side of the board. Let's take a closer look at the photos here. I'm assuming this is the natural color. This is red, black, and this is what they're calling white, although it's also natural. Anyways, this it looks like a pretty simple product. It's three pieces of laser cut, what is probably three millimeter wood, probably plywood. You see it has the four little notches on the sides here. That's so the support legs can attach to the top and has the cutout center part there. That's where the coin falls into. And then on the side, we can see the two lines of engraved personalization. So as far as lasers go, you wouldn't need anything crazy to make a laser like this. This can be done on a 10 watt diode laser because it's just three millimeter wood. I really can't imagine something like this taking more than a couple minutes, even with a cheaper diode laser. You know what? Let's find out. I'm gonna buy a coin hole SVG file right here on Etsy and make it while we do this video. Let's see if it's as simple as I think it is. I popped the SVG file that I bought into Creative Space and I added two things. This red line is just a little score and the black uh, circle over here is an engraving just to spice it up a little bit, give a little pizzazz, as they say. Anyways, for my settings, I used everything that comes default with the Xtool Creative Space Easy Set panel. I love the Easy Set panel. It finds the recommended uh, setting for me, and that is what I selected for my engraving, my cutting, and my scoring. So let's run this file and we'll get back to our list. My Xtool S1 is currently set up with the rotary attachments, so let's use the Xtool P2 instead. Let's check out the reviews. First of all, 109,399 total reviews is a lot of reviews, but this product specifically only has 14 reviews. You can see it listed here, but they all look to be five stars. Fun and unique gift item. It was easy to put together, fast delivery, came faster than expected. Super cute and fun gift from my brother who loves cornhole. And here are a couple photos from the reviews. Again, all of these have five stars and you can see the engravings on the side there. Now, if I were gonna sell my own version of this mini cornhole game, I would try to find a good angle that this seller hasn't covered yet. Try different sizes, offer different paint colors, stain colors, or even go as far as looking into sublimation graphics. Also, maybe offer more robust personalization options. Since this game is played with a coin, something that immediately comes to mind would be buying a bunch of blank engravable coins and allowing your customer to personalize the playing coin as well. 
There are so many ways to make sure your product stands out, even if there's a lot of similar competition. The next product we're gonna talk about is probably my favorite on the entire list. It's a puzzle game called Stacking Cats. Stacking Cats is made by the shop Catalyst Art Design, who had 1,230 lifetime sales, five-star average review, and are also a star seller. They also have a pretty nice looking Etsy shop. Look at that, using Etsy video, good for them. Back to the listing, this product's currently on sale for $31.18, while it is normally priced at $34.65. As far as personalization goes, it allows one space for custom engraving, and it looks like it's on the tag for the bag and not the actual product. Yeah, you can see it here. Here's the personal exam personalization sample shown here. So you don't actually engrave anything on the actual product. Now this is an interesting product. I definitely need a closer look. Let's check out the photos here. First thing I noticed that jumps right off the page is how thick these pieces are. So that is most definitely a half inch plywood. You can see the three layers of the ply there. To cut something like this, I am assuming this maker is using a pretty high wattage CO2 laser, probably 100 watts or more, because these are really clean cuts and they're also small and intricate. And that's kind of tough to do when you have a lower wattage laser. Some of the lower wattages can cut half inch if you try hard enough, but a lot of times you'll run into issues when you hit the glue layers of the plywood. But if you have a higher power CO2 laser, which I'm assuming this person does, you can cut these out pretty much no problem. And it also comes with a base there, but that's a much thinner piece. So that's probably just three millimeters. You can cut that on anything. And then it has the instructions for the game engraved right on the surface. So let's watch a video and see what this is all about. It looks like the objective of the game is to stack the different pieces of cat so that it doesn't fall over, which I'm definitely getting uh, Jenga and Tetris vibes from. Very fun. I love it. Now let's take a quick look at the reviews, shall we? This product currently has 21 reviews. It looks like they are mostly all five stars as far as I can see. It says, uh, cats, what can I say? Cute little item. It's very well made, exactly what I was expecting. The seller was wonderful to work with, created a custom order. So people are liking the cats. And I love this product because it's a unique take on a puzzle game idea that's already existed. You know, we have Tetris, we have Jenga, all kind of stacking related games. And they just got creative with it and put some cats in it. Now, in my opinion, the next logical step would be to do this with all kind of different animals, but this shop's way ahead of me. They've already added stacking foxes, stacking rabbits, and stacking dogs. I would actually go one step further than this and make these for specific dog breeds. So imagine you had a product that was stacking French Bulldogs puzzle game and stacking Golden Retrievers puzzle game. Well, now you're really sorting yourself out well for long tail SEO keywords. So when someone comes to Etsy searching for gifts for French Bulldog lovers, you're gonna be one of the first listings that come up instead of trying to win on something more vague like gifts for dog lovers. That's just something I would think about. Back to the project. The P2 just finished running and it took approximately four minutes and 21 seconds to finish. If you're looking for a good laser to start making basic craft games like this, I highly recommend checking out the P2. There's a link in the video description below. No chance in the world I'm busting out the wood stain for this one, so let's just snap it together. Next up on our list is not a tabletop game. However, it's an accessory for an already popular tabletop game. And it's called Personalized Game Piece Holders for Popular Game Board by the shop Wooden Essence Co. Now, Wooden Essence Co. has 6,839 lifetime sales, average five-star review, and is also a star seller. 
Now you might be thinking, why the incredibly vague product title? Isn't that the complete opposite of SEO? And the answer is yes, but when you're creating an accessory to a product that already exists, something that you didn't create yourself, you have to be very careful when using other trademarks to advertise your product. And the way this shop has done their titles and their product descriptions, I can tell they understand that. This product's an accessory for the game Settlers of Catan, but you won't see that written anywhere on this listing at all. Because some companies are extremely aggressive when protecting their IP, and they will go after you for using their names in your products when you have no association. So constructing your listing this way is a good first step to hopefully stay off their radar. Anyways, back to the product. This is a custom piece holder that is currently on sale for $12.75. The list price is normally $15. And look at that, it has 20 plus views in the last 24 hours. Let's take a closer look at these photos here. So I haven't played Settlers of Catan in many years, and I don't remember what all of these pieces represent, but you can see that it's a custom design meant to hold all of your pieces for the game. It is cut out of two pieces of wood. So the top piece is probably a quarter inch or six millimeter, looks like walnut. So six millimeter walnut plywood or hardwood. And then it's sitting on a base of three millimeter probably Baltic birch, something like that. And then on top of the, uh, on the top piece, it has, each little piece has a little cutout section for where the settler pieces live. And it also has the space for the engravings. You can see the name, and then there's another line where you can add a little blurb there. So really cool, I love this. Let's check out the reviews, shall we? Look at this badge here, best seller in board games, 100% recommendation for this item, 100% five-star reviews. I don't think I've ever seen that. And looking at the amount of reviews for this item, 686 reviews. Wow. And as we mentioned, all of them are five-star reviews. Great products, super fast service, made new friends who also love Catan. They had a fit over our game piece holders, so we got them a set. Quick to respond, great products. Let's look at some of the pictures here. Came super fast, well made. Looks awesome. Developing a product like this is such a great idea. Games like Settlers of Catan already have massive brand recognition and it gives you a very specific niche audience to market towards. Think of how many games there are out there right now you could create something like this for. The opportunities are endless. But on the other end of that, you must be very careful when using trademarks that aren't yours when you're advertising. Before we get to the last product on the list, we have to try this out, right? Ah. Not as easy as I expected. Yes. Now, if you've thought this project was simple, wait until I show you the last product on today's list, the Decision Coin. We're gonna do this one backwards. Let's start with the reviews. 1,201 reviews for this item alone. And if you know anything about sales on Etsy, the majority of people don't actually leave reviews. So you know this product's doing numbers. This product's called the Decision Coin. It's basically just a branded take on flipping a coin. It's created by the shop called Sleepy Bear Items with 5,080 sales, five star average review, and is a star seller. I bet you are sleepy with having to cut all of these decision coins. Anyways, the pricing starts at $3.10, so let's see what kind of options we get here. Looks like we can choose from two different colors or types of wood. And then you can choose print, script, or blank. So it looks like, yeah, blank is the cheapest option, three to five dollars. And then if you want to add a print, which is just an engraving, uh, and um, looks like a sans serif font or a script font, it's 10 to 12 dollars. So we'll, we'll select uh, maple print. And then you can have a gift box item. If you don't, it's just 10 bucks. If you do, it's uh, 12 bucks. So let's get a little gift box. Why not? 12 bucks. And 
for your personalization, it looks like you're just adding names for both sides of your coin because you're flipping a coin to make a decision and if it lands on one side, that person gets to the side and the other side, the other person gets to the side. I love simple products like this. This is incredible. Let's take a closer look at the photos here. Not really a whole lot to discuss. It's a three millimeter circle with some engraving on the front and on the back. So the only thing that would be different from this project as the other products is you'd have to flip it over to engrave the other side. Not a big deal. Um, it looks like the here's the two different colors. Uh, I do appreciate that they, you know, they up the branding a little bit instead of just putting a blank coin in a in a box or something. They add this little backing card, called it the decision coin. Gives it a little bit more of a feel. You can see something like this sitting on a shelf in a store, and it would help, um, you know, kind of sell it a little bit more. Well, here's another photo here. Yeah, I mean something like this. You could do this on any kind of laser. 5 watt diode laser, 10 watt diode laser. Something like this is great for a product like the F1 where you could make those engravings in, oh, I don't know, 15 seconds on each side. So this is a very, very basic product. But you can see basic moves sales. I've really got nothing to add to this one. Just a round of applause. Bravo, great idea. Um, look, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of selling something for three to $10. You know, you gotta cut it, you gotta package it, you gotta take it to the post office. But think of it as a benefit to your Etsy shop. Each time you sell one of these three to $10 items, you're getting a visible sale and you're getting a visible review. And the more reviews and the more sales you get, the more established your shop looks and the more reputable your shop will look to new customers that come across it. So you might have more expensive products listed in your shop, which I'm sure Sleeping Bear Items does. And that will help sell your more expensive items because no one wants to come to an Etsy shop that has zero reviews and zero sales. It's a social proof problem. So you can really hack the system by putting up a lower price product like this, that the only intention is to get reviews and sales to then bolster your other products. All right, let's wrap this up with my pros and cons for the laser cut games category. Starting with the pros. Number one, it's a very popular category of products. There are certain kind of products that just do well on Etsy and basic games is one of them. Some of the items we looked at today have hundreds of reviews and that's just for one single product. Etsy is popular for gift shopping. Games are great gifts, so you do the math. Number two, easy to make. The majority of these products are made from three millimeter or six millimeter craft plywood. Nothing fancy. You can do this on a cheap diode laser or a higher end CO2 laser. Number three, you can iterate on basic game concepts that already exist. No one holds a copyright on flipping a coin or shooting a piece of wood through a hole or rolling some dice. You don't need to reinvent the wheel and come up with your own game, but also make sure that you don't use trademark names or step on any copyrights. Now, the cons. Number one, low barrier to entry, which means there will probably be a lot of competition, especially in places like Etsy. These products aren't very complicated, so they'll draw in a lot of makers, but really that just means a lot of low effort products. Put more effort into your product and provide more value. Nicer options, nicer photos, just do better than what the lowest common denominator is already doing. And if you think there's still too much competition, try selling them in a smaller market like a local craft fair. Number two, low price tag. The majority of the products we looked at today range from 10 to 40 bucks and that really might not get you too excited. But if you are gonna offer lower price products like this, you wanna make sure you run a tight ship, so to speak. Develop templates and systems to get your production time down as far as possible. The quicker you can make them, the more money you can take home at the end of the day. Number three, you must tread carefully. This one mainly applies to creating accessories for other games. Be careful of infringing on trademarks and copyrights because some of these companies will come after you. Disney routinely scours through Etsy to issue notices for copyright infringement. Just err on the side of caution. It's not worth a lawsuit. 
And now for my disclaimer, I say at the end of all my Etsy videos, I'm not telling anyone to go out and directly copy any of these products. I am saying it's completely in your benefit to research them, analyze them, and just use them for inspiration to get started. I'm doing that as we speak. So if you're interested in watching me start an Etsy shop from scratch and document how well or not well it goes, just make sure you subscribe to this channel because that series is going to be starting really soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.